the first step is to apply 35% phosphoric acid into inside the tooth, starting with the enamel and then the dentin. If you have air bubbles, you want to remove them so that you don't have all the acid in contact with the tooth. Notice that I've applied the etchant beyond my cable surface margin, and you want to do that to make sure that your bonding agent is going to bond to an area that the acid etchant has been in contact to. You want to leave the acid for 15 seconds, and then you want to rinse for 20 seconds. You want to then air dry for 3 seconds and leave the surface slightly moist. Bonding agent. I've applied too much here, but we are going to air blow and remove all this excess away. If you have applied too much, you can also get a dry applicator and just remove the excess. You evaporate the solvent with the air, applying like this. And then you're going to light cure for 10 seconds. Do not look at the light while you're doing the polymerization. For the application of the composite resin, you want to use the deep fissure design, which means that you're going to apply the composite at the buckle first and adapt this composite with a spatula forcing against the buckle wall. You may use any spatula to apply this composite. What is important is to get a good adaptation of the material into one of the walls. After this application of the composite, you want to polymerize this layer for 20 seconds. The second layer you are going to apply against the lingual wall. And again, you want to have a good adaptation of the material against that wall. You want to polymerize for 40 seconds. On the last layer, you want to then shape with your instrument and take your time on the placement of your anatomy before you polymerize with the light. So that's going to minimize the time of finishing. After the placement of the anatomy, you want to polymerize for 40 seconds. The next step is to check for any excess or submarginations that you may have. At this stage, you may add more composite if needed because you still have the oxygen inhibited layer. The finishing of the margins should be done with around 7004 burr. If you choose to use in high speed, you need to have water cooling. I'm not doing this now for the purpose of the video. If further anatomy is required, you may use the Burr H274 for the placement of this center anatomy. After you are done with the finishing, you're going to start the polishing with the green polishing point. To use the polishing point, you're going to need to mount the slow speed. After you mount the slow speed, you're going to press the head of the latch and place the rubber point inside and lock. You should use the green with water.
After you are done with the green polishing tip, you use the gray polishing tip. You don't need to use heavy pressure when using this gray tip. Light pressure is, is fine. After you rinse and dry, you want to go back and check your margins to make sure that you have no excess or defects. Have a little bit here, then you need to go back and remove that, go back with a burr. After you remove the excess, you want to go back with your explorers and, and check for the clean cable surface margin. And then finish with the polishing sequence of green point and gray point.